Hello guys, we are back with another commander game. And we switch back to Atraxa for this one. We're against Omneth. Omneth is one of the first commanders I've ever thought about building. Never ended up actually building him though. Uh, this hand is close, but I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, better, probably. Yeah, I'll put that on top. Interesting hand. Plume Tender turn through, Icarats turn three. See where it gets us. Ah, crap. Crap, Chica Ball comes in tapped. I should have played that. Uh, we'll just shock ourselves with Godless Shrine next turn. Should be fine. A little bit awkward though. I have a foil overgrown team. It's interesting. Must not be worth a ton. At least not much more than the normal one. Considering all these cards I just bulk buy from like MTGO traders or something. Horn Viper. It's basically Death Touch. Hmm. Green, black, black. Icarats. Each player gets a poison counter. And we'll do that. And go. Alright, so we didn't get punished too hard for the uh, Bajuka Bog shenanigans. Wonder if I'll attack here. I won't trade, but it's an interesting thought. Because blocking does get rid of his creature's power and makes its abilities useless going forward. But he can just play Omneth and float a mana. And it essentially blocks Icar Rats. Well, it would trade with Icar Rats, which makes it possibly worth doing. Obstinate Bayloth. Well, that's worse. That is worse for me. Um, I don't have blue, so I cannot play Atraxa. One, two, three, four, five. I cannot cast Become Immense. I can just Wrath. Let's go Exoskeleton. And I can equip it. I'll make it a four, three. I'm alright with this. If he wants to trade, then we trade. Alright, here go. This card really doesn't need to be in this deck. I guess it's just another version of a conta containment contagion class, whatever the heck that is. Just gives me a little bit of reach. That green card draw, though. Priest of Titania. Alright, I could Wrath. I don't really think it's a good time for that. I could just equip Bloom Tender. I like that actually. Green. 
Crescent group would be rough. Beast within. Do you not have enough to become immense? Drop animation module and pass. The fact that you can't use the first part of this ability with an effect counter is a little bit awkward, but it's really just in here for the second part, I guess. Right, get rid of the Priest of Titania. I guess that's fine. He hasn't played Omneth. Most Omneth, des Omneth decks I've seen are just try and get him out really quick and make him huge. So I guess this guy's a little bit different. We are able to become immense the Bloom Tender next turn. So if he doesn't get a blocker down, he's going to have a rough time. If he does get a blocker down, no, he's fine then. So I don't have any blue for Atraxa either, which is unfortunate. Really, he destroyed that one. He could have destroyed the exoskeleton. Alright, well, see if we have to win here, I guess. Looks like no, he's got the grip as well. Yep. It is fine. Not much we can do about that one. We do have the blue for a tracks the next turn. It's funny, it's like a mono green Omneth control deck over here. He has played it pretty well. He's had good answers for everything we've done. I think we're definitely in a rough spot. Harmonize as well, jeez. This guy's almost 10 cards deep into his deck over me. Parallax wave, does nothing. That's just there to get blockers out of the way. White, black. Just kidding. Blue, black. White, green. Alright, start proliferating. You got uh, many turns before this is lethal, but. Well, where the tracks gonna play a parallax wave is better. So I could play that next turn, we'll see what he does. Whirlwind. Well, fair enough. Probably just recast the tracks of this turn. I don't really have much else going on. Finally Omneth time. Maybe not. Birthing pod. Mm, that could be a good one for him. I think he is definitely still favored to win in my eyes. Green, white, blue, black. One, two. We charge counter on the core. And end step. 
proliferate the poison, proliferate the core. F6. So what can you get here? A 4-drop? Um, I mean, there's a million options. You could get another obstinate Bayloth. He could get... He can't get Acidic Slime. Not till next time. So what 4-drops are there that would really wreck me right now? I'm sure there's something. There's a lot of green 4-drops. Oracle of Moldiah you could get. Uh, he was... It was a good one. Creatures have flash. Six mana. Early harvest. That is a good one. Warrant clicks. Well, we have an answer. Sylvan Tutor. What you gonna reveal? Seedborn Muse, also a good one. Parallax Wave should do work here, I think. Hmm, maybe not. The problem with Parallax Wave is that it doesn't stop him from birthing potting for a acidic slime. And that would be a problem. Seedborn Muse I could live with, although it's really good. Do I wait for him to cast it to Wrath of God? It might be worthwhile. As long as I don't just get comboed out to hell. We're gonna try it. This could be a bit of a greedy play. Because I think my opponent's deck, judging by the early harvest and boring clicks. It's very, very explosive, but if he dumps his hand here and we can just wrath, then we could be in good shape. Seedborn Muse. He's going to be able to float a ton of mana, which means one of these things is going to get birthing potted away. Oh, shoot. Um, nah, that's fine. We're gonna get our hand back either way. So unless he does that at my upkeep, we'll be okay. Let's fetch. You'll we'll get a prairie stream, I guess. And we'll attack. Uh, the world exists in which I regret this. Yep, there it is. Hatred, huh? Mm, that's interesting. Can't kill him with it. I could put him quite low, though. Um, I don't think I want to. He had birthing pod to a flyer is a problem. So we'll let him do his thing.
think we're dead though. Hello? Yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Click through these. Demonic Tutor. So what do we got? Mind Twist is an interesting option. Deluge. I like Deluge. Do I have Merciless Eviction in this deck? Looks like I don't. Alright, so this will still leave us with Wrath of God mana for next turn. I have to pay 14 life. That's rough. You can Birthing Pod. Let's go 15 to be safe. I don't know if that makes a difference. He gets like, he doesn't have a seven drop, so he can't go to Crater Hoof. He did not Birthing Pod, okay. All right, so then what we're gonna do, is, do I want to do Fresh Air Imp? No. I'm just gonna Kadama's Reach. Make sure I have some lands untapped for next turn. Alright, well, we're not out of the woods yet, but... Oh, got Harmonize again. It's pretty good for him. Birds of Paradise. Lightning Greaves. What are you getting? Magus. Interesting. I guess he just wants to start start climbing up the ladder. Yeah, this is a interesting game. Pulsar Elf, I don't think does much. I don't think Wrath does much here either. Can't play a track so with this mana. I think I just play this. Maybe I can get a become a mince kill in there if he doesn't block. But the thing is he could just block and then pot away, so Well, not now. But the odds of him not blocking are pretty pretty slim, I think. Nylia. I mean, Nylia does not block. Not yet. It only takes one more creature, though. Nomneth, yep. So now it blocks. Or 
Wrath of God does not deal with Nylia. But it does make her not a creature. Well, first things first. Alright, do we got it? We got it. Alright, that was... That was a scary game. Where are we drawing? Mind twist, that would have wrecked him. Yeah, I mean, we got there. That was, that was a close game. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Uh, I hope you guys did too. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.